Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Greg McCloskey from ForexLive.com. This is a uh, quick look at the New Zealand versus U.S. dollar, so uh, let's get started. Look at the four-hour chart. The uh, price highs uh, at the end of last week and uh, this week on Monday uh, came up uh, to and through the uh, swing high right through here where we had a number of different uh, swing highs forming a ceiling. We did move above it a few uh, different times during this week right uh, through here, uh, but then uh, reestablished the resistance uh, here, here, uh, and uh, moved above it here uh, before moving back below it there. Uh, we moved a little bit above it there and then tried to use this level as a support uh, and before rotating back to the downside. It wasn't until last week and early this week that the price returned to this area between the 0 0.5985 and 0 0.5996. So uh, the uh, selling did start on Monday and we started to rotate to the downside and that continued in trading here today on this four-hour chart until the price uh, reached the 50% midpoint of this uh, range uh, the range uh, sent, uh, that, that's really encompassed this uh, pair uh, over this longer term period. This goes back a number of trading weeks, but uh, really this is over this uh, three week period uh, through the month of uh, month of October. Now the 50% retracement came in at 0 0.59133 or 135. And also the 200 bar moving average on the four hour chart is at the same level. So one of those uh, levels, those uh, technical levels where we have dual uh, uh, T technical tools coming together 50 percent 200 bar moving average and that gave the, the uh, buyers the opportunity to stick a toe in the water uh it took a number of different uh four hour bars mind you these are four hour bars so this is a 12 hours or there they're about something less than that uh where the uh, price banged against that 50 percent banged against the 200 bar moving average and finally has seen a rotation back to the upside over the last few um hours of uh trading so uh, you know, the support did hold, That's uh, and, and that increases the level's importance going forward. So uh, going forward, we're going to be watching the 0 0.5913 level as a support, as long as the price remains above that 50%, above that 200 bar moving average. And guess what? The buyers are more in control. We do have inflation expectations coming out of New Zealand today. Uh, the last uh, quarter came in at 2.83%. So we'll see how that compares. The, the new number compares. That comes out at 9 p.m. tonight. So I'll uh, watch that uh, That if it is uh, any weaker than, than expectations. We might see a break below that 50% retracement. If it's any stronger, we could see a rotation back uh, to above the 61.8, 0.5946. And then we'll start to look back toward this uh, swing area up to the 0 0.5985 to 96 area. Let's call it up to 60. On the top side, um, as another reminder, I'll watch the 100-day moving average that is uh, continuing to trend more to the downside and currently tra trades at 0 0.60. 147. Uh, if the price were to move above the 100-day moving average, and we haven't been above that uh, since uh, going back to this uh, this uh, period back in the, the month of August, end of uh, July, uh, that that would be more bullish uh, for the New Zealand versus U.S. dollar. So there you have it, a technical look at that currency pair. My name is Greg Michalowski. Good fortune with your trading. Bye bye now.